Yo guys, it's Kenny Mack and Christmas is overrated. This is where it's at. It is the off season and it is NFL free agency week. So fellas, break down what happened and let's go Browns. Welcome to the Dogs Podcast with your hosts, Blake Rineker, Justin Charles, John Nye, and Josh All. What's up, Browns fans? Welcome to another episode of the Dogs Podcast presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Josh, back with you again. The Browns just keep making moves this first week of free agency. It's been super exciting, and they just keep coming. Andrew Barry keeps pulling off nice team-friendly deals, and we've got another big one to talk about today, filling a major need at the free safety position. But before we do, make sure you guys check us out on all our socials, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and make sure that you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, help us get in front of more Browns fans out there. And, um, you know, one real quick note, we don't do this a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. Um, We've had people ask, how can we help you guys support the show? How can we get involved? Our Patreon group, um, jointhedogs.com, is that that's the best way to do it. Because not only is it a way for you to help support our show, I mean, minimum it's five dollars a month. If you can swing five bucks a month to help support, you know, the the future creation of content from our channel, that would be awesome. But there's also value to you. I mean, we do an extra episode in there every week. We've got you know just threads going on in there at all times. There, it's a, a huge collection of Browns fans. It's a really cool group of people from not just, you know, Northeast Ohio area or Cleveland area, but around the country and around the world. We've got people in there from all over the world. So it's a lot of fun. It it, it is a great way to support the show um, and also for you to get value out of supporting the show. We've got fantasy football leagues that we play um, during the season. We have just all sorts of new things going on there. We have dog pack members of the month. You can win t-shirts, posters, all kinds of stuff. So if you want to get involved, if you want to help support the show, join the dogs.com, become a dog pack member and help support the dogs podcast. Okay. Let's kick this thing over to the big free agent signing yesterday. The Brown sign safety Juan Thornhill, six foot, 205 pounds. He was selected in the second round out of Virginia in the 2019 draft. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs drafted him. He is 27 years old. So for a lot of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare Juan Thornhill's numbers to Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates, as you guys I'm sure remember, <laughs> just this week, was one of the, I would say, the top safety that a lot of Browns fans wanted the Browns to sign. Um, he was, by all accounts, the top safety available in free agency, former Cincinnati Bengal, all that good stuff. Um, But I want to compare Thornhill's numbers to Jesse Bates, considering Thornhill's the guy who is now at Cleveland Brown and Jesse Bates is down in Atlanta. So let's look at the contracts. So Jesse Bates signed a four-year, $64 million contract with the Falcons. That's worth $16 million a year. So just keep that number in mind. Jesse Bates, 16. Juan Thornhill with the Browns signed a three-year, $21 million contract worth $7 million a year. So keep that in mind as well. Jesse Bates, 16, Juan Thornhill, 7. So we've got a $9 million difference between the two players. Juan Thornhill, his NFL combine measurables were absolutely off the charts. He was the number two ranked safety with an 89 athleticism score. He was the fourth overall safety in that draft with a total combine score of 83. So let's compare to Jesse Bates, who was drafted the year before him in 2018. In 2018, Jesse Bates at the combine had an athleticism score of 70. Remember, Thornhill was an 89. His total score was 82. Thornhill was 83. So both of Bates' scores, at least coming out of college, were below Juan Thornhill, and the athleticism score was significantly lower. Um, Thornhill ran a faster 40, 4.42, and Bates ran a 4.540. So those are just some measurables to keep in mind. Um, Let's look at the 2022 season. Juan Thornhill's PFF grade was 72.7, which put him at 20th overall for the season. Jesse Bates was a 71.9, and that was 24th overall. So actually Juan Thornhill graded higher 
than Jesse Bates last year per PFF. We got the higher grade in safety for $9 million less. Um, Thornhill's run defense grade was 65.4, which that's where Bates had the edge last year because Bates' run defense grade was an 88.3, which that's really high. Like, that was really good. But Thornhill's pass coverage grade was a 75.2. That was 12th overall in the entire NFL last year for safeties. Bates was only a 64.9. That was good for 50th. So we're definitely getting an edge in pass coverage by having Juan Thornhill over Jesse Bates. Juan Thornhill lined up as a free safety on 69% of his snaps, so he's definitely more of that true free safety style of player that the Browns desperately need right now. Um, Coming out of college, Thornhill was highly touted for his takeaway skills. He had 13 total interceptions in his college career at Virginia. Um, Over his four-year career with the Kansas City Chiefs, Juan Thornhill has eight interceptions to go along with nine pass breakups. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me back up. Eight career interceptions. He had three interceptions in 2022, nine pass breakups in 2022. Uh, His turnover skills are definitely coveted by Barry and Jim Schwartz, but Thornhill's tackle stats are actually pretty impressive themselves. So Thornhill has improved year over year for his career. Um, He has 58 total tackles as a rookie. And just now in 2022, he racked up 71 total tackles. Uh, He even had a sack and four tackle for loss last year. So one thing that I want to note here, though, that the tackle numbers are nice. I mean, he's he's definitely a good tackling safety, but one area of concern, and you might vomit your mouth a little bit if you're a Browns fan hearing this, uh, he missed nine tackles in 2022. He had 14 missed tackles as a rookie, but he's never had more than 10 uh, after that rookie season. He, Like I said, he did miss nine tackles in 2022. He only missed four in 2021. Um So I kind of want to break that down a little bit. If you look at Jesse Bates, again, uh, Jesse Bates missed seven tackles in each of his last two seasons. And he missed, before that, his first three seasons, he missed 16, 17, and 10 tackles. So Jesse Bates averages 11.4 missed tackles a season. Thornhill averages 8.5. So while that's still higher than I think Browns fans would like to see, And it's not a fun thing to talk about. It's also important to note that free safeties, it's easier for a free safety to miss a tackle because they're typically the last line of defense. Um, And if you've got a, you know, a skilled wide receiver um, that's, that's just wide open running down the field, it's got a pass made a couple guys already miss or something like that. And the free safety is one-on-one with a a good wide receiver. the edge goes to the wide receiver as far as making that free safety miss. Um, it's much harder to make that open field tackle against a talented wide receiver. So, you know, missed tackles for free safeties are going to be, I believe, a little higher. But I think the eight and a half miss missed tackles on average isn't too, too terrible. But it's definitely something that wanted to point out and just wanted to make everybody aware, trying to get to know our new free safety a little better. This episode is brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Spring is in the air, and that can only mean one thing, spring grilling. The steak experts at Omaha Steaks have made it easy to spring into something delicious with their semi-annual sale. With 50% off site-wide, grab all your favorites like perfectly aged, tender steaks, ocean-fresh seafood, juicy burgers, incredible air-chilled chicken, and decadent desserts. Plus, when you go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code DOGS, D-A-W-G-S at checkout, you'll get an extra $30 $30 off your order. It's the perfect way to get fired up and spring into something special. Don't wait. Go to omahasteaks.com. Use code DOGS at checkout. Take advantage of this deal right now. Omaha Steaks is ready to ship your order right away, and you're going to want to hurry because 50% off site wide is only happening for a limited time. So don't miss your chance to save big right now. Visit omahasteaks.com. Use code DOGS, D A W G S, at checkout. Get that additional $30 off when you shop their semi annual sale today. Minimum order may be required. This episode is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. The action never ends at DraftKings Sportsbook, especially this summer. With tons of ways to bet on all your favorite sports, you can fuel your fandom and feel the heat of the season like never before. Plus, right now, DraftKings Sportsbook is giving new customers a risk-free bet up to $1,000. 
That's right. Make your first bet up to $1,000. And if it doesn't win, you'll get another shot to cash in. You can throw down on all the major action for baseball, golf, MMA, and more. Plus, with same game parlays, spreads, money lines, over unders, and props, your betting options feel endless. Best of all, DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. You can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use promo code TPPN. Make your first deposit and get a risk-free bet up to $1,000. That's promo code TPPN only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. So go ahead. Let's get rid of that vomit from the missed tackle discussion. And let's talk about a stat you guys are going to absolutely love to hear. Juan Thornhill has a grand total of seven penalties in his 65 game career. Jesse Bates has four, but a guy like Minka Fitzpatrick has 22 career penalties. He even has one season with 10 in the season. So Juan Thornhill to only have seven career penalties over 65 career games. Um, I don't expect Thornhill to be the culprit of much of that stupid yellow laundry on Sundays. I think that's something that Browns fans can be pretty excited about. We know how much penalties just derail plays and drives an entire game sometimes. So to have a guy who can play very smart on the back end of that defense, that that's going to be huge for the Browns in 2023. So going back to kind of look at Juan Thornhill's career, um, he was an instant starter on defense for the Chiefs when they drafted him. As a rookie, um, unfortunately, in the final game of his rookie season, he did tear his ACL. Um, and then, you know, he came back in 2020 and 2021. He was kind of like a part-time starter, but he played in every game. Um, and then he became the full-time starter once again here in 2022, played the whole season again. Um, he's He's been very available in his career despite that torn ACL at the end of his rookie season. And since it was at the very end of the season that he got hurt, he actually hasn't missed any games, maybe, I, I think maybe one game he's missed. I believe he's played 65 out of 66 career games that he was on the Chiefs. So that's huge. The Browns get another very reliable player on defense. We talked about that with Dalvin Tomlinson not missing many games in his career. And now you're getting a guy like Juan Thornhill. We know that secondary has been an area of concern as far as injury. Uh, history goes for the Browns, at least in the last handful of years. So to have a guy like Thornhill who's shown that he can stay on the field, that he doesn't, he's not plagued by these little nagging injuries, I think that's a really good sign for things to come for the Browns. And one final thing that Thornhill brings to the Browns that fans and, and the coaches and the st- everybody's going to love this stat is he's a two time Super Bowl champion. He brings Super Bowl winning experience. Not just Super Bowl experience, not playoff experience, Super Bowl winning experience. Now, to be fair, the, the his rookie year in 2019, you know, he wasn't on the field for that victory because of the ACL injury, but he was still part of that team. But here just now in 2022, when they won the Super Bowl against the Eagles, he was out there defending, you know, passes thrown by Jalen Hurts, going to A.J. Brown, going to, to uh, Devonta Smith. So Juan Thornhill was a, a big part of uh, the defense in that Super Bowl victory just last month. So basically, just to kind of tie a nice bow on this on this thing, we got a top 20 player at the safety position for a bargain compared to the market. So, you know, Jesse Bates, we talked about $16 million a year. We've got a very comparable, if not, you know, and on some metrics, at least better safety for $9 million less. We got him for, you know, the, the $7 million a year. Uh, a guy like Von Bell, who we talked about, Went and signed with Carolina. I believe he's at seven point five million dollars a year. So, again, compared to the market, we we got a really good bargain on Juan Thornhill, who is a player that not only has he shown he's already a great player, but he's still ascending. So there's still room for him to grow. He has a lot of potential, and even if he doesn't ascend from where he's at right now, the level of play that he's already displayed in his career that's perfect for the Browns. We honestly. We, we would be fine if he didn't even get any better than he is now. If he just stayed the way he is and played the way he's played already in his career, that would be already be a win for the Browns. Now with the opportunity for him to continue to grow, continue to ascend and become an even better player in the next couple years, it, this is this is a home run for the Browns. Andrew Berry continues to knock it out of the park. Um, cannot say enough great things about what the Browns have done so far 
in free agency. Now, of course, this is all on paper. We're getting hyped over these players, but you know, that's why I want to talk about, you know, some of the missed tackle stuff with Thornhill because every player has ups and downs. Every player has pros and cons. But I think overall, the pros and the the contracts that Andrew Barry's been able to get for these guys, it's it's been it's been really well done. I've been impressed. I, I think most fans would have to say they, they they seem to be filling areas of need with proven production, uh, play styles that fit what Jim Schwartz wants to do. Um, they're bringing in play styles that the Browns currently don't have on the roster, and they're doing it at prices that aren't breaking the bank, and they're they're leaving these contracts leave opportunities to sign additional players because we're not overspending for players that leaves cap space to bring in depth pieces we're going to need depth pieces on the line we're going to, uh, on the offensive line defensive line we're going to need depth there we've got a defensive tackle that we just signed that we'll talk about in the next video and we're, we're actually i'm pretty excited about this guy too now i mean he's not going to be a game game breaker i don't think but he definitely has potential we'll talk about that but Juan thornhill Safety, big time signing by the Browns. I think he's quickly going to become a a Browns fan favorite on the defensive side of the ball. I can't wait to see him out there going at it with uh, Denzel Ward and Newsome and Emerson and Delpit and our boy D'Anthony Bell. I think we've got a great secondary once again shaping up in Cleveland. So stay tuned. Next video, we researched. We'll talk about him. And until we see you guys next time, let's go Browns. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Dogs Podcast. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at the Dogs Podcast. Get your thoughts on the show at thedogspodcast.com.